Guys, I'm really, really excited. Really? About our first article. The B-side word. Mm -hmm. We held off last uh -oh. week because my because uh, AJ LJ oh, wasn't here. I know nothing about this. <clears throat> well, you half do because of what what you've heard through me mm. and vaguely seen. Mm. Um, Tiger King. Mm. Tiger King. Cow Tiger Baskin. King. Um, CJ, have you seen Tiger King? Any desire to? No. Dad's I don't know why I'm shaking. My, I don't know why I'm shaking my head. No one sees me. Yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah. I can. I can get. I, I can show answer. your face. No. Yeah, that's right. What was um, that? Nothing. He said he could show what? your face. CJ's our mystery. Yeah, he's a mystery. He We're gonna make money. The... We're gonna make money off that. What is the it? Mystery the mystery mark. No, what's the the stig? He's the stig. Ah. Uh, um. Yeah, we, ours is called the stink. He's why? our stink. Why? <laughs> oh, no, <I'm> just... <laughs> You're not. I just had a shower. <laughs> <laughs> I smell like lavender. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alexander and I have watched Tiger King. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Every episode. But for those that haven't, we'll do, I think, well, should we do a rundown of just just, basically Andrew, just start talking about is. the bloody thing. Well, I'm going to so, have. Yeah, I, I mean, look, spoiler, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. We're going to talk about what happens in the documentary. If you oh, haven't yeah. seen it, go watch it. Ooh, mm. ooh. Spoiler alert. Ooh, ooh. So, okay, I, I, you know what I want to start with before you okay, get into go, this? Okay, go, go. I want to ask Dev and CJ. I'll probably start with CJ because I'm guessing Dev knows somewhat. What's going on? What do you think it's about? <laughs> a guy that pats tigers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dev, you got any more to add to that? I, I, I know, I know what it's about because Emma, Emma keeps talking, hyping it up. How much she loves the Tiger King and how much she's into the doco and what it's all about. And like, I don't, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I'm not interested. <laughs> yeah. And then she tells me a bit more, and I go, I, th but I, I. I told you I didn't want in. I didn't want to. I didn't want to talk about this. So she continues to explain what the Tiger King's about <laughs> and what all the dramas are involved. And then I tell her again, I don't know if you know this, but an hour ago I told you I didn't want. I didn't want to know what this was about. I don't know about you, but when I get excited about something, I, I want to share. No, it. no, I know, I know. <laughs> It it's so about. infuriating when people don't well, want to like listen. And you're like so excited about it. Okay. Um, to give you well, but to give you my like my introduction because I I introduced this to Emma. But to give you like how I got into it, I I saw it on Netflix. Look, we're in quarantine. We're in lockdown. Like Netflix is probably my number one website at the moment. Yeah. I went on it, and this Tiger King was like at the top. You know when they f try to force you to watch something. Yeah. Top yeah. ten. Top and ten I, of Netflix. And I'm like. Yeah, and I'm like, I don't, I don't care. Like, I, I could not care less about this m mullet man and tigers. Yeah. I saw the mullet, and I was like, nah, I can't watch. Did that. you hear that? Uh, right. Did everyone notice the two ways that that word was said? Mullet and mullet. Yeah, mullet and mullet. <laughs> 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 but it was, it, it, it's, you know what it is? It's that, and then the second most website, second most viewed website I'm on at the moment, Twitter. And everyone was talking about this Tiger King. And I'm like, why is everyone talking about it? I've watched everything that's on Netflix. It's the only thing left. I might, oh, I've got to just dive in, I guess. Now, I didn't look at any of the description. I didn't look at the tagline. I didn't look at any of the trailers. I didn't look at anything. All I knew is it was called Tiger King. There was a man with a mullet and I was watching it. It was the most <laughs> riveting watch I've had really? in years. Oh, wow. In years. Wow. <clears throat> it was just it, what it was. It was the amount of unexpected twists and turns uh, and how frequently they were coming throughout the entire thing. I get that. I get that. Movies have become predictable and everything that we watch ha have become like... So do you sort of know what's happening. You sort of like... Uh, this is going to happen, then this is going to happen, and this is going to happen. I get that. I get that. Maybe I'll give it a watch. I don't there think so. There is zero, there you go. <laughs> zero chance you know what's coming, but I'm going to well, let him a, a go similar into, one before, much better, much before more Tiger King was um, Don't F With Cats, and that was similar in the way that it was cr like mind-boggling, but, but it was different, right? But um, this one starts off with Joe Exotic. Joe Exotic. Real name. What? Joe Exotic. The guy with the mule. <laughs> so his mule. This is up front, patty at the back. So his real name is Joseph Maldonado Passage, but he's actually got another name, hasn't he? Shreven something or other. But he changed it to Joe Exotic. 
57 year old um american uh he does describe himself as a gay gun toting cowboy with a mullet that's how he actually describes himself um just to give you an overview of him he's had five husbands he has a hundred and uh, had 176 tigers um and the way that netflix portrays it is uh one murder for hire plot as well thrown in there so one murder for hire yeah so you're like, what? What's going on? So he started a zoo in the 1990s after his brother died in a car accident. And he wanted to honor his brother in some way. His brother was called Gerald Wayne. So he called the zoo that he started the Gerald Wayne Exotic Animal Memorial Park, which is better known as GW Zoo. Okay. Right. <clears throat> where is it? It's in, where is Oklahoma? it? Oklahoma. Oklahoma or something, right? So he started this. He started this zoo. Loved cats. Loved big cats. <clears throat> we'll talk about that soon as well. In two thousand and one, he then started letting customers play with tiger cubs. Yeah, because cubs were being born, and he allowed them to play with them. And he was charging twenty five dollars to hold a cub for a few minutes, and then another twenty five dollars to take a photo. Right, and a little interaction. And he was like, oh, I'm making money from this, you know? Um, and at that time, which they didn't show on the Netflix show, is that he had a first husband called Brian Ryan, but he died of HIV complications, right? But they didn't show him. After that, he then started traveling with his zoo and with the cubs and doing magic tricks. <laughs> we saw a little bit of that. Um, and that brought him in a little bit of money as well. And then he was like, this is, this is good. People love like petting the cubs. I'm going to start breeding them. So then he started. Is a, that illegal? <clears throat> no, it's, it's not illegal. In fact, it's not illegal or it wasn't illegal at the time in America to own exotic animals. Right. And supposedly there were more tigers in people's homes in America than there were in the wild. Wow. Left at one point. So he starts breeding the breeding the tiger cubs, um, but because tiger cubs are only safe to handle between like four and twelve weeks, after that they're considered dangerous, right? What how, how big are they after twelve weeks? Like well, are their they... teeth are pretty big, right? So if you're like got little kids like fo- posing for a photo and there's like big tiger with yeah, big yeah, teeth, okay, okay, right? So wait, mm. so after twelve weeks they're considered dangerous. Mm-hmm. So before 12 weeks, what are they considered? Cute. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah. And then he had a short-lived second marriage to someone called JC Hartpence. This guy is a heartbreak, isn't he? I know. And then he started a relationship with this other guy, John Finley. Yeah. John Finley is in the um, Netflix program. Yeah. Um, he came to the zoo, wasn't gay, but turned gay for... for Joe wasn't gay. No, turned gay. Yes, um, yeah, I, th- I think he was gay. He he wasn't originally, and actually um, now he's he's ended up with a guy with with a like, sorry with a woman. Like, like I'm not no, gay, there, right? There's and I've seen the guy with the mullet, <laughs> and I'm still not gay. <laughs> there's a uh, I, haven't, I haven't turned the corner. Go, Ooh, of the... he mighty fine. <laughs> <laughs> there's a there's a piece of the puzzle as to what. What can uh what could have made that happen though? I'm sure yeah. I'm gonna get into it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Also, with reference to his I don't want that piece of the puzzle. That's a bit of with reference to his second um, right. husband, um, Hart Pence, he's actually apparently serving life in prison for murder as well. Totally unrelated. But that's another that? his second husband that wasn't featured. Uh so we're getting into this documentary. <laughs> we're we're finding out. Okay, this guy's got a zoo. He owns cubs. Okay, he's breeding the cubs, letting people blah blah blah. Um, Shaquille O'Neal has bought. He reckons what well, is more than two because at some point in the documentary he said, "Oh, I've just got another two cubs from Joe." Shout out to Joe Exotic. Um, <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah. So he was giving some cubs away, and mm, yeah. So we're getting into the show. Then a, a long what? appears. What the show character. hasn't started yet. So a no, long no, com- Emma, I'm, Hold on, before you go on, Emma. Yeah. I want you to understand something. You've learned zero of what happens in the show so far. Like this is all pre-show. Yeah. Oh man. So then this lady appears. 
out of nowhere. Her name is Carol Baskin. This is what the Carol documentary Baskin. starts focusing on on episode two. Or I don't know, maybe it was episode one. Carol Baskin. She, in 2006, published an article condemning the zoo. And she's all about animal rights, animal welfare. And she was saying it's wrong. He shouldn't have tigers and, and animals in captivity. Yeah. And she was about saving them, right? But because she wrote this article condemning them, it fueled a massive long time, like long term battle between yeah, yeah, her yeah. and Joe Exotic. <sighs> Baskin. Robbins. Carol Baskin. And Robbins. <laughs> used to have a millionaire husband. Yes. His name Don, is Robbins. <laughs> his name is Don. <laughs> Don Lewis. His name's Don. They actually used to do the what, Joe, what Joe was doing. They yeah. used to breed cubs. Yeah. Okay. Together. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> together? No. Oh. What do you mean? The, she breeded... No, the millionaire and her... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Her and her ex, Don, used yeah. to breed cubs, even though she's condemning the zoo for doing right, this. She, right. she used she's to do the same. So she's a hypocrite. But her and Don, I don't know, he suddenly disappeared uh-huh. in 1997. Yeah, someone gave him an offer he couldn't refuse. <clears throat> well, <laughs> he was telling his family and friends that he was scared for his life because, and she, Carol, his wife, had threatened him and she would be abusive towards him, whatever. And all of a sudden he, he disappeared. Now, Joe, Joe Exotic. <laughs> um, <laughs> life insurance. Has put it out there numerous times as well as other animal people that she killed her husband and fed him to the tigers. Yeah. She's on film saying, oh, they say that I killed my husband and fed him to the tigers. I mean, how ludicrous. And she's like smiling while saying it. It's the most bizarre <laughs> thing, right? You're thinking, okay. Come in a warning. <laughs> why is that even remotely smile worthy? Okay. So that's going on. And meanwhile, Joe Exotic is making songs about with Carol Baskin and in the videos – it shows her feeding her husband like he gets yeah, it yeah, 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 to, yeah. to the tigers. Okay, hold what on, else happens? On, on, on. Yeah, go. Just to give you like full scope detail on that, Joe Exotic's also a recording artist who releases <laughs> like records and albums. Um oh. but, but he doesn't he doesn't sing them. No. He just lip syncs in the videos. Yeah. He's like the face of the music. Yeah. And he so- and like he releases like properly releases Yep. So who sings? So he he employs these brothers, <laughs> these people in another state, and they <laughs> write and sing it. <laughs> I actually thought it was his voice at first until that all came out later. And he can, I was like, wow. He can limp sick that good. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so he's got a, a a music music career as well type thing. No, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> now, now. He's got a yeah, music career. Uh, the people that write those songs I can lip sync something. Two musicians in Washington and he just lip syncs, yeah. Um yeah. okay. Back to Joe. He the John Finley guy. Um another he then gets another employee called Travis Maldonado now, a nineteen year old, and they all end up marrying each other. Mm. So it's a three way marriage. So they there's a wedding and there's three three of them, right? And they get married. Joint ceremony, two thousand fourteen. Um, then it leads on to a mysterious fire burning down part of the zoo, um, killing the al- al- alligators that used to be Michael Jackson's and, um, came from his never, ever, never land. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and Joe accused the director, the producer of doing it. Um, but really it was well, probably on, Joe on. doing I'm it. Again, like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to interject. I just want to keep my make sure go, go, go. on stuff. Do you know who the director is? I don't know if we've covered the director. Oh, I've forgotten his name. So the the, the director, Dial. I think it's Ron or, Ron or something like that. He, this guy, found out about Joe Exotic, like found out about this whole like situation of this petting zoo, all this kind of stuff, and this gay gun toting mullet, mullet. Um, what's the redneck type guy? Yeah, he was like, oh, like this. This is a this is a gem. Like for TV production, yeah. I could make an absolute killing off this guy. Joe wanted this guy to record him every day because Joe Joe wants to be famous. Like that's oh, yeah. his whole thing. Is he wants the to director be does? No, Joe no, no, Exotic. Joe, no, Joe, 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 Exotic, Exotic yeah. Joe Exotic. So he wants to be famous, like really big time. So he's yeah. looking for someone to come in and like record 
so that he can Everything. go like put a post on the internet. Right, right, and, like, right. I'm talking Joe would post daily on the internet videos daily right. of what's going on at the zoo. So this guy's like perfect. Like I can go in, I can film his stuff. Um, I don't really care about his stuff, but I'm going to be filming me filming his stuff, and that's going to be like my gem. That's going to be my ticket because oh. I'm going to have this. I want you to know that him, this guy filming that, that isn't the documentary we're watching either. <laughs> no. And what what just happened <laughs> kind of elaborates onto why as well. Now, apparently, the, Joe realized there was a lot of stuff on this that the producer was filming. Yeah. And he was scared if it came out, could be bad. Next thing, the, the place goes up in fire where all the footage was. Right. So at that point, the producer leaves. He's like, he was like that he'd put all his money into this, like all his eggs in one basket. And now all his footage is gone. He, up, he ups and leaves and accused Joe of doing it. And Joe was like, whoever did this, <laughs> you know, it's just bizarre <laughs> that those alligators were Michael Jackson's as well, just to, you know, add in some more. But anyway, um, then Joe decides to, well, there's a little bit that happens in between there. He meets another guy um, who uh, is a Vegas character. Wait, wait, can I pause? Go. Joe's a bit of a whore. Siege, <laughs> Siege, are you intrigued? Are you intrigued? Does this make you want to watch the Tiger King? No. No. Okay. Keep going, keep okay, going. We'll keep going. Maybe, maybe, so meets, maybe something's going to So he meets this happen. other character. Yeah. Um, uh, what's his name? Oh, Jeff Lowe. Jeff. Jeff, Jeff Lowe. Lowe. Yeah, Jeff yeah, Lowe yeah. loves yeah, low. big cats and, low, and stuff low, like that. Low, low. And he used to have cats and he'd take them to, he'd take these little cubs yeah. and he'd, he'd, he'd fit them in a suitcase and take them up to the Vegas uh, penthouses. Oh, and he'd have and, sex. And, and he'd, get, he'd get, you know, loads of hookups with girls and mm. his girlfriend and whatever. Joe found out about him and said, Hey, Jeff Lowe, you've got a lot of money and I've got a problem with this woman called Carol Baskin. Yeah. Yeah, we've got a long term 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 feud and she's suing me because he changed the zoo name to basically Joe Exotic. The name of their <laughs> their big cat rescue to sort of uh what? Well, because on a Google sh- search, when you type in big cat, it comes up with this Carol woman's website because her her is about rescuing and can we just touch on Carol Baskin's rescue plan? Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> so Why, not? She, Why not? She rescues these big cats, yeah. right? But also places them in cages. Right. She says big cats should not be left in cages. She goes, but I mean, it's different here. At least here at my place, the cages, they'll get looked after. Her cages are like a hundred times worse than Joe Exotics. <laughs> I mean, they are, oh, it honestly, so bad. So- <laughs> Anyway, hold on. Another yeah. another metric of comparison, just to give you an idea of Carol and Joe's uh, places. Um, Carol, uh, they both they both have employees working in the place. Of course, yeah. like you can't run a place like that by yourself. Carol doesn't pay her employees; like they're all volunteers. All of them. Uh, but she has a lot. She has a lot. Or all, all of them, and they're a lot, and they work long hours, and they're all volunteers. Her, as Emma said, the cages were terrible. Like it, it's oh, almost like, like she. Got like chicken wire and tried to make cake they like, rested, so bad. Like, yeah. Um, and like the way they had to, like, they'd have to stick their head through a little hole to eat and stuff. Um, <laughs> it was bizarre. And then, but she and of course, she's, char- she's charging people to come to Big Cat Rescue, just like Joe's charging people to go to GW right, Zoo and stuff. Right. Um, but to give you an idea of Joe's side as well, uh, like how he treats his employees as a, me- a measure of comparison. They, they're a, a lot of them like ex convicts and stuff, which you know, giving people opportunity, cool. Um, but like he, I, I'm not sure. Did it mention whether he paid them? If it was, it was very about a hundred bucks a week. Hundred bucks a week. Um, his husband. Oh no, that's newest... Jeff Lowe's place. That's Jeff Lowe's. Pl- no, that was the other guy, the eccentric and, guy. Okay. Um, but it's if 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 it, if it is anything, it's very little. Um, and his newest husband can never leave the park. Like he works full time and never leaves. Um, and he feeds that like Joe. He's good. He feeds his people. He feeds them with <laughs> the the throwaway meat from Walmart that they actually feed to the tigers, and the guys just get first dibs. Expired <laughs> meat. Well, it's like off the shelves of Walmart that that's kind of expiring. F- <laughs> <laughs> and and he's like, oh, we get a really good deal. All this meat, they get truckloads of it, and they feed it to the tigers. Yeah. But his employees get first dibs of the meat to right. eat. Like that's their food. So they're the king. They're the kings of the well, jungle. 
yeah. Well, no, they're they're eating expired, expired meat. Expired meat. But the guys yeah. are like, it's actually tasty, you know. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yes. So he meets Jeff Lowe. Jeff Lowe comes into his place and says, and he says to Jeff, I'll let you, because Jeff wanted to uh, to, to actually own a zoo, right? He goes, I'll let you take ownership of my zoo, but I need your help with paying for Carol Baskin's lawsuit that she has against me because he was running out of money and and taking money from his mum. So um, that happened. Then... During Wells, Jeff, jo- so Jeff Lowe comes in, takes over the, the zoo. Meanwhile, Joe Exotic says, I know what I want to do now. I want to get into politics. So he decided to run for office. Well, he wanted to run for president, um, but this is in 2016. But Could, he actually, couldn't be worse than what they got. <laughs> he actually <laughs> decided and did run for um, public office in his area. So that's all going on. During which his tr- his one of his husbands, Travis, was sort of depressed and he was on meth and um, he was he loved guns and he was carrying guns around everywhere and he was just one day joking or well not joking he was saying saying to one of the other employees who was running the the, the polit- politician campaign thing he said, oh Joe got me a new gun but you know this gun he always used to pull guns on people and go but you know, like I'll get ya type thing. Um, and the other guy was like, please stop doing that. Like, stop pointing a gun in my face. And he's like, it's okay. It's not got a clip in it and it won't fire without a clip. Look, pulls the trigger and kills himself. This is all captured on CCTV, but he's out of the screen. So you don't see it, but you hear it and you see the other guy's expression and like, yeah. Right, so that's oh, the other guys looking him. The other oh, guys looking him dead in the eyes. Shit. Dead in the <laughs> eye. He's like, oh, you hear him? He goes, no, it won't. It won't um, actually. Oh like it won't fire because it's not got a whatever. And he goes, Lit, look, see? And yeah. he dies. Oh my goodness gracious me. This is just too much. It's a car crash. <laughs> one about episode one about episode four, I think. <laughs> How many episodes are there? Seven. Seven. So and one more, but seven, yeah. Yeah. So that happened. Joe buried him, but also started singing at the funeral and um, Lip syncing, you mean? Lip syncing. <laughs> Lip syncing, probably, yes. He wasn't too um, Two months later, he married someone else called Dylan, who is still his oh, husband. Oh, I got over pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. He moved on. He did. He was actually quite sad about it, but he went and saw yeah, a shaman. For like a whole two days. He saw a shaman <laughs> and tried to, to help him deal with it. Um, meanwhile, he was getting, I guess things were unraveling in his life and he was quite unstable and he was really hating Carol even more so. Carol Baskin. Up- he was putting daily videos out, basking and robbing um, of like ways he would kill her. He even sent rattlesnakes and put in a po- in the envelope See, and put just... it in here in her. So um, he wasn't all right. Post box. He was there was something missing, eh? Yeah. I'm I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. Every character in this show has something missing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, all of them. And you've you've only been introduced to about I want to say thirty percent of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, t- I'm telling you now, by the sounds of it. The lift is not going up to the top floor on all the no. all, 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 all the show people. <laughs> now <laughs> Jeff Lowe, when he when he took ownership of the the park, Ooh. he brought in one of his people he knew who was an ex convict, and Joe was like, "Hmm, I wonder." So he asked this ex convict, "Hey, if I give you some money, will you go kill Carol for me?" <laughs> right? And he was like, "Yeah, yeah, for sure. No worries, no worries. I've got this." So Joe gave him money which was not his own money. He used to just take money from the business and where else, wherever else. Joe gave him money. 3000 was it? $3,000. $3,000. Yeah, that's, yeah. He and gave the guy him had money. to like travel to Florida. And, he, had, and he said this. she's in Florida. They planned it out how it was going to be on. done. Did he have to pay for the travel from the $3,000? <laughs> no, I don't know. So he, this, this, this ex-convict makes his way up to Florida. But he never actually goes and does it he just starts partying with the money right so he never actually does it meanwhile jeff and this other character i forgot his name realize or someone realizes that jet jet ski man that yeah that (laughs) that the feds are involved now somehow i don't know who actually reached out to the feds first but the feds get involved well okay so this guy james who gets involved he he's i can't remember exactly word for word but his title on the show is something like james something businessman like there's no, there's no explanation of who this guy is or whatever, and then all of a sudden you just find real out, or just someone's feeding on their imagination. <laughs> you just you just find out like, 
a random I, I, I may have there's so much going on it's really easy to miss stuff yeah i may have missed when they introduced this part and it, if, yeah. if they did it seems like emma did as well but yeah you just find out he's talking to the feds like, yeah just so it's talking part, to the feds just happens to be talking to them Jeff Lowe's like, we've got everything, you know, we've got him, we've got everything on tape, you know, he just talks too much, Um, we've got him, we've got him. And in the end, turns out they did. Um, Jeff has a big blow up with him on camera and says, they've got you, man, they've got you, they they know everything. And um, Joe Exotic freaks out, leaves the park same day and runs off with Dylan, his his latest husband. Yeah. Um, But it all catches up with him, he goes to court. Right now he's in prison. He has been sentenced to 22 years in prison. So what they had to do is they they got him for the p- attempted murder plot, yeah, murder for hire, but also found out that he'd killed five tigers mm. as well. Um, so they added that onto his sentence as well. Um, so he went to jail in Oklahoma jail, but then the coronavirus hit that jail and there was fears that he might have been... Um, uh, like exposed to it so now he's been moved to a different jail um but basically in a nutshell that's what what the, what the series is about okay cool that's cool it's to a, give it's you a, it's pretty much to a give you, like, you can't look away you can't you can't you cannot look away mm. at all and like to give you an idea of where like there's there's little things that make it just that extra bit intense as well like even at the end when you it finishes seven episodes you're like i want to see more because joe the way they set it up is is it's it's almost as if jeff lowe the the vegas guy set up joe for the murder for hire in the sense of he's he's the one who suggests like carol so carol as well like joe she doesn't claim she wants to be famous but she also posts daily on social media videos every morning she posts on her facebook group and that um and Part of her video is she like goes down a cycle path, and Jeff's like, "If you look like there's no one there, like that's when it could be done." Like, so it's like he's putting the idea in Joe's head as well, knowing and Joe's that, like, "Oh, like, he's yes. he's got a couple more marbles than Joe, than Joe, so he can set him up, kind of deal." Right, right. And right. even after Joe gets a, I think it's after he gets arrested. But I'm trying to like the timeline of when they're filming. It's a bit. I'm trying to wrap my head around, but I think it's after. And they're talking to Joe about this idea, about to Jeff about this idea that Joe's now saying that Jeff set him up, and Jeff's like, "What he's trying to say that I set him up? I mean, I I, I may have put the words in his mouth for him to <laughs> do something and and this and that, but they haven't caught me. So well, like he's saying this on camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the whole thing it is actually worth watching. Um, I mean, even Louis Thoreau, and we love Louis Thoreau. I don't love we? Louis. He's he he was kind of feeling a bit sorry for um. Joe Exotic, even in Trump's interview last week, someone said about Joe Exotic and said, are you going to give him a pardon? He goes, your son, your son thinks you should give him a pardon. He was like, which son? <laughs> like, which son of mine said that? He's like, I'll look into it. However, I watched the latest follow up episode. And now I'm not so sure because there is the, the documentary. It does kind of spin it in a way that you do feel sorry for Joe. Like you have your ups and downs. But by the end of it, you kind of feel sorry because you feel like he's been set up. And now 22 years is a long time. But apparently it was quite a cruel cruel guy um but it's got some celebrities on his side cardi b defends cardi is b defending joe him. all the way she's even set up a gofundme account for him for his release oh my gosh but shaquille o'neal has unfriended joe no he's like i didn't know he did all this stuff you know i didn't know so yeah, he's unfriended like, him that's that's one of the funny things i've seen on twitter has been really interesting is like what i said they paint it's it's really difficult to explain because they paint him in this light as if he's this almost naive guy um and these things the negative stuff happens to him yeah but he's like a terrible human being <laughs> like yeah the stuff that he does i don't think he start. i genuinely don't think he started that way because when they when you look back at the beginning of when he first got the tigers and stuff it's almost like he was in the same vein of what carol is preaching not doing but preaching but i i think it's just that thing of when you realize you have big tigers and every single human wants to see a big tiger and they'll pay for it that it changes it's mm. like ka-ching. like certain yeah. things about you yeah. yeah um but yeah that that follow-up it definitely reminds you but oh okay i just want to drop in yeah three pieces of information about this okay. just 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 for your for your um ears Devin. yeah 
See, Guys, um, Devin and CJ, remember, this is the biggest show on, on Netflix this year, right? So a lot of huge. people listening will all have watched this But that doesn't mean well. shit to me. No, but our <laughs> listeners, our listeners. Yeah, listeners. So to go back to uh, John, John, I think it is, the, the, the third Lee. husband, the yeah, one who no wasn't teeth. gay. The one who um, wasn't gay had no No, no he teeth. was gay. No, no, no. So to give you that piece of the puzzle, meth. Oh, meth yeah, was yeah. the big thing. Yeah. Yeah. Meth so now. it's it's not a case of were they gay or not. Oh. It's how how serious is a meth addiction. Yeah. <laughs> that, that Joe said, Joe they, said I'll get you all the meth could, you want. Yeah. He could provide yeah, it. He wasn't so gay. the guy who the guy who killed himself as well also was not gay. Like they were saying was not gay. Um yeah. obviously he's not alive to speak for himself, but that's what the other workers were saying. Yeah, see, he's so not gay. The third husband's not see, gay. The third husband ended up having a baby no, no, with, with one of the female the, workers there and has, is, is with oh her Oh, yeah, now. sorry. They left. Yeah. In my mind, I was thinking third. Was, I was thinking fifth when you said third. Cause that's Mate, third if you're getting confused, the, if you're getting confused, me and CJ have no so many, idea what the freak the is fifth, going on. The fifth husband yeah. like, is all, all about Joe. Like, to this day, backs him hard. But yeah. to yeah. give you... Probably a bad choice of words. To give you... <laughs> to give you a... A couple more characters. There's one, um, I cannot remember his name, but it's a transgender man who, in the documentary, they constantly refer to as a woman, even though Seth. everyone in the documentary, like all the people, like the workers and that, call him a guy, like he. Um, so that was just a, an interesting I thing. I thought it was a girl and, because they were saying she, she. Yeah. It's but Kelsey she, Seth. He, yeah. He, yeah, he identifies as a man. And yeah. it was really interesting because everyone online was like, going like oh it's so bad 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 blah 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 and then in the follow-up show that they put out where they're interviewing these people he's like oh i didn't i didn't even like didn't notice pay I any mind. <laughs> yeah didn't that character also funny. got his arm ripped off by a tiger during, yeah. and it was all filmed and, and within a week was back in the zoo that's... because he didn't want the zoo to get bad press yeah <laughs> so that's another character and then the other character i wanted to introduce you to by the way there's more cat owners in this one of them who's probably the other most <laughs> talked about doc? Was this guy was his called name? dot and anti yeah. doc or, or whatever this guy's name was <laughs> this guy was like the smart crazy one out of all of them like so he figured out he figured out the cub petting first and joe actually saw what was going on there and that was sort of what started the idea in his head so this this guy apparently is notorious for purely breeding for cub petting and then killing them like afterwards but somehow has gotten away with this whole time. And his employees, for another measure of comparison, yeah. are all young women yeah. who are, he's basically got, there. he's got nine wives or something? He's basically yeah, got Yeah, nine wives. <laughs> and that was the one that said she got a hundred a week and they had to work all day and they would like have to ask for like, to do everything. Like they weren't allowed to go anywhere. They had to ask to eat, ask to do this and that. I, th Bloody I think he hell. got them new phones and there's one woman that was interviewed who worked there and she woke up one day and they had booked her in for a boob job. Oh yeah. To get them enhanced. And she was like, <laughs> at that at that point, I was just relieved to get a rest. Like, cause that meant yeah, I would like, have had I to knew not, I'd like, get I could three have not days worked. Off rest. <laughs> so I was like, okay, do the boob job. I'll oh, she some... didn't want it. No. No. They were just like, You're gonna get a boob job, we'll pay for it. Um and she was like, mm, don't really want a boob job, but oh, I do need some rest. <laughs> oh my gosh. These, yeah, it's, the wow. whole show is just so bizarre. Um, yeah, so that's Carol Tiger Baskin. King for you. That is Tiger King. It is worth a no, watch. The Tiger King. Do you? Um, would you prefer? Would you prefer a life of the Tiger King, or would you prefer a boring life? <sighs> like, would you want to be known for anything, or be known for nothing? Mm -hmm. Like the Tiger King is known to be a dick. Like he, oh, he's, okay. he's not, he's not well, a good person, but he's him, known. He's he's found out. Like even though he's in jail, he's found out about um the 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 fact that this documentary has been made and and how big it's become. And he's apparently loving it, <laughs> absolutely loving it, <laughs> because that's all he ever wanted was to be famous. He wants to be known. So yeah, um, that's what I'm saying. So would you prefer? Would you? But he doesn't get to reap any of the rewards. Yeah. Ah, oh, I just yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't want to be known I, I, for being no, someone bad. I'd rather bad. be boring. Yeah. I'd rather be boring. Have he you seen? Also, <laughs> just because I've just remembered, he's also deathly afraid of big cats. Oh, yeah. He's called the Tiger King, <laughs> but apparently at the what? very end of the whole thing on the follow-up, 
it's revealed by his third husband, John, the one who ran away with a woman, that he's scared of big cats. And when he's in the footage, we're in one of the pens with these two massive tigers around him. One is blind and the other is sedated. What? At one point, <laughs> all his co-workers left him in a cage and this cat started trying to drag him away. And he was like, help. And no one came for, no one came to rescue him at all. And they were like, no one, he was like, no one even came in. No one even came in to help me. Oh, do you know what's a really nice parallel as well? Because this mm. is like, it kind of gives you an idea of how he treated people. Um, but it might remind you of someone as well. So he, because he was very theatrical and wanted the attention, and this is probably why his employees didn't like him too much and all that, was he would, like, he would fire people just, just for the cameras, basically. Um, like, oh, oh, I need, need to yeah, create yeah. some drama. I better fire. So someone. I don't know. If, don't know if that reminds you of anyone. But. <laughs>